G'day guys, it's time for Maxi's blog number two. Um, we're at the five game stage of the uh, of the tournament. Um, unfortunately we've lost our last couple but um, started to so show some really good signs in different areas of our game and, um, and started to show some real signs of improvement and a little bit of maturity as well uh, within a, a few of our players as well. Uh, more recently obviously Man and Vora are playing unbelievably well um, in Hyderabad to get 95 and take us as close as he did uh, really showed the uh, the maturity and the um, improvement that he's made in his all-round game to um, take it to that next level and it's been something we've probably been asking of him for the last couple of years um, and for him to play like that is um, a great sign uh, for the future and especially in this tournament going forward we're going to need him to continue to, to make big scores and, and hopefully the rest of the batting group can stand up around him as well. Uh, obviously that's probably where we let ourselves down a little bit. We um, we, we lost wickets pretty consistently. Uh, the overseas players probably didn't um, bat as well as they should have, and um, that's uh, that can happen sometimes. And hopefully they can rectify that uh, moving forward. Um, looking back on the other couple of games, obviously we had a disappointing loss against Kolkata and Delhi back to back. Um, the Kolkata one, um, unfortunately, a guy called Sonny on Ryan comes out and starts um, uh, hitting the ball around the park and. Uh, we probably we were probably just missing our lengths just a little bit during that game, but um, I was happy with the way the guys went about with the bat to get 170 in those uh, swinging and seeming conditions. I thought we did really well um, to uh, reassess the conditions and and really give that back to the group on the bench as well. So um, unfortunately, uh, bowling we were just just a little bit off with our lengths, and a guy like Samuel and Ryan made us pay uh, as well as Gambia batting really well, and then on to Delhi. It probably not much went right for us that game, unfortunately, which can happen on, on sometimes in T20 cricket. And um, I suppose the thing we've been trying to um, harp on with the guys is to try and make the opposition make the first mistake. And unfortunately, that game it, it just felt like they um, they probably didn't need to try as much to get uh, their boundaries. It was more bad balls instead of um, them forcing the issue. Which, to the bowlers' credit, they rectified that brilliantly in Hyderabad. They were. They adjust their lengths. They um, they found uh, what worked on a certain wicket, and they communicated really well. So, um, guys are making adjustments really quickly, which is really pleasing as a captain, and something that's probably made my job a little bit easier out in the field is having those experienced guys to adjust their games um, in game uh, and and communicate with that with it with the other guys as well. So. For Ishant Charma to come back into the side and bowl as well as he did uh, was outstanding. He had great plans, um, and it goes back to the experience that he has, and it's it's great to have that in the team. And you've got Mohit Sharma as well, who's obviously got a wealth of experience. Uh, he's he's probably gone for a few more runs than he would have liked, and um, at, at times he's been a little bit frustrated because I've obviously bowled him at pretty difficult times with the bowling couple overs in the power play, couple overs at the death. Um, hasn't been an easy job for him, but. Uh, he's, he's never whinged once and he's he's just got, got on with the job and for him to get the rewards the other day getting two for 20, 20 odd and uh, bowled beautifully so uh, really good signs uh, for our bowling group to, to really do the job there and hopefully next game the batters can step up again and we can get that all round performance which is something we're really craving we probably had that against Bangalore uh, despite the AB um, masterclass uh, I thought we bowled really well um, in that game and, and to restrict them uh, to a score that we could chase down easily so uh, there's there's some really good signs for this group moving forward um, the guys are starting to work really well together they're communicating a lot better uh, the batting group um, probably just needs to take a little bit more ownership um, we started off really well and uh, we can't afford to get complacent in this tournament at any stage so uh, hopefully we can uh, turn the um, win-loss ratio around and, and get back towards the top of the table where uh, I think this group deserves to be. We've got a, a great young group, so hopefully we can turn it around quickly. So cheers, guys.